please let us know in the chat if you'd like to ask a question. We'll start with Ted Colfin. Hey, Billy, good to see you. What, so for a goaltender, I mean, what are you trying to get out of this training camp and preseason, just getting used to the systems and people in front of you, I would imagine? Yeah, and then just for me, it's just to get, you know, like the practices are pretty tough, so uh, it's good to get a lot of shots and uh, just try to get the own game on the level that I, I need to be when the season starts. And uh, I, I like to have a couple of exhibition games as well, so um, it's it's going to be good time here a couple more days and then head back to uh, Detroit and get some games. Is it, a, I mean, what the Red Wings do, is it a lot different than what you were seeing in St. Louis? I mean, it's pretty similar, like, you know, like usually like two ice sessions and, um, you know, first, first uh, ice is usually more like shots and then the second ice is just more like uh, team stuff. So uh, pretty, pretty basic stuff. The last one. So for a goalie, I mean, what, how, what do you try to get out of this weekend or next few days, just tracking shots and just getting comfortable in net again what, or whatnot or what? Yeah, I just, you know, get the hands going and hand-eye coordination and stuff and uh, the feed, you know, like, uh, just try to get, uh, you know, the good habits and uh, that way try to bring it to the games and, uh, and um, the first of all, like the exhibition games and then to the season. Sounds good. Thanks for this. Yeah. And Sarkhan? Uh, yeah, hi, uh, Billy. Uh uh, Derek was saying yesterday uh, that both you and uh, Nadalkovic will, will get the net early during the season and then see how it goes from there. I mean, how uh, obviously you've got to be pleased to, to hear that, that you'll be getting an opportunity uh, early on. Yeah, I, I mean, it's I, I think in this league, you need to have two good goalies. And I think it's a good situation for me and Ned to battle for the spot. And, um, you know, whoever wins more games, I bet whole play. and. Uh, it's a good situation for us. Have you gotten to know uh, Alex uh, well here these first few days of camp? And just what are your impressions there of him? Yeah, I was with, in Detroit before the training camp. So I saw him there and uh, got to meet him. And uh, really nice guy. And, uh, you know, looking forward to spend more time with him. Also, just wanted to get to some of your early impressions of a couple of your defensemen here. Uh, a uh, couple of big guys there, uh, Cider and uh, Sharat. What have you thought of them so far? I mean, they are great. Both guys are great players, and uh, and uh, even the rest, demons or everybody is good. And um, you know, it's it's good to see those guys how they practice and do their like daily basic stuff. And um, just need to you know follow them, and they're doing a lot of good good stuff. So. Uh, off and on the ice, so um, it's good to see. Thank you. Jonathan Mills. Hey, Billy. This is kind of bouncing off Antar's question. Um, is that tough to navigate that relationship between teammate and battling for, you know, time in the crease between you and Alex? Uh, I mean, it's it's normal in this job, I guess. Uh, there's always two goalies, so uh, I think we have a good relationship with him, so I don't I don't see that there is anything you know bad things for that, and um, I try to you know push him and he'll push me same time. So I think it's a very good situation where we are. Yeah, and then last one for me, um, the kind of the team chemistry culture that's been really highlighted from the last couple of days. What has stood out to you the most um, in training camp so far? Well, I think in the first meeting, like. Uh, head coach was saying like just you know everything starts from the defense and um, and I agree that so uh, we need to be good on our our end and then that will lead to the offense as well there is a lot of skilled guys on the offense and even on defense so uh, but when we make sure that there is no you know our own end will take care of that I think we'll be fine appreciate it George Malik. Hi, Billy. Uh, I was wondering how the guys from how, how you feel that your former teammates and now current teammates from St. Louis are, are adjusting as a group and um, maybe how how David Perron uh, is going to step up in a leadership role. Yeah, I think he's already been uh, 
a uh, like big part of the, this team and uh he's pretty pretty loud guy so uh, it's it's nice to you know uh heard heard him in the locker room and he's you know trying to talk to everyone so it's, that's nice to see and uh but overall i think it's a good group of guys even all the young guys young guys too so um it's been good time um, to, to fans who haven't seen too much of you, um, how would you describe your style of play? It, it looks like you're you're very disciplined in the butterfly, but you're also able to um, kind of throw the rule book out sometimes when you need to um, flop and flail to make the big stop. Yeah, I would say like butterfly style, but then, you know, uh, there is a couple of things like trying to read the play pretty well. And uh, I feel like as a Finnish goalie, you, you always have like the good hands and stuff. So, uh, but um, yeah, but then at the end of the day, it's just like, you want to tr try to stop the puck, you know, it doesn't matter how it's just to, so, just to try to get something in front of it. So, uh, but if you have the good, you know, uh, basic setup for yourself, that's uh, usually you're in a good spot in, uh, in the crease and you can make the save. And finally, for me, um, uh, do you happen to know uh, UC Olkinura, um, your your teammate who who was was so great at the Olympics? Yeah, I actually know him a uh, long time ago, uh, and uh, then here I've been seeing him a couple times as well. So uh, he's uh, he's a nice guy, good goalie as well. So um, he'll he'll be pushing us for sure, and uh, it's good that he's here. Thank you, Helene St. James. Hi, Miller. What's the benefit of having eight exhibition games, especially for a newcomer? Uh, I think it's a big part of, uh, you know, going for the season. You get to know the guys and how they play and stuff. And um, and for myself, it's nice to go out there and, uh, you know, everything is new for me. So, uh, it's uh, you know, I can't wait to put the Red Wings jersey on. And just uh, how have you been able to kind of... Um, you know, gel with, with new teammates like off the ice up here. You've, you're up here for almost five, six days to just kind of really bond. Is that a big benefit of being in a place like this? Yeah, I guess it's nice to come here in Traverse City and, you know, there is no, uh, you know, we're just practice and then we have the rest of the day to do stuff. So uh, it's a good way to get to know the guys and spend some time together and uh, uh, build the team chemistry. Have you been able to do anything fun away from the ice? Uh, we we went to golf the first day. That was that was fun. And then uh, yesterday we had a little dinner as well. So um, yeah, it's been great so far. Thank you. Last question, Max Boltman. Hey, Billy. I wanted to follow up about Peron. What are some of the things that you saw him do in in St. Louis that you think will be the most helpful here in Detroit? Well, I think he uh, how good he is for scoring and uh, then I think that's the big part and then off the ice he's uh, like I said pretty loud guy so I think that will he'll bring some energy on the room and locker room and uh, you know try to bring those young guys you know and uh, just he's um, he, he knows how to handle everybody so um, it's it's great to have him here as well. And then uh, now that you've had a little time to maybe reflect on last season, you know, what were you most happy with about, you know, how it went for you? Obviously you played, played a lot there and had a lot of success, but anything stand out in your mind that you were most happy with? Oh, I think I got like pretty good start. So uh, I think that's the big thing for this year too. And, uh, and then try to keep it on that level until the end. So um, there was good, good things and a lot of, a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and uh, just try to, you know, improve those bad things and uh, uh, have an even better year than last year. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We will be back after the third group gets off the ice.